Hello, and thank you for watching this video. This is Thor Giddings. I'm a senior solutions architect with AWS, and today I wanted to show you how to use some of our deep learning based APIs that you can start using to help increase the pace of innovation in your company. Today we're going to be talking about Amazon Translate, Amazon Poly, and Amazon Recognition, and how to use those with .NET. Let's get started. In this first example, I'm going to use Amazon Translate to translate a phrase from English to a target language. Currently, Amazon Translate supports 25 different languages and uses a deep learning based approach to translation. Once it's translated, I'm going to use Amazon Polly to create a sound file of synthesized speech in that language. You'll notice I have the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio installed in my environment. And additionally, I've configured a profile that links to my AWS account and the permissions granted to that specific user. This will make it more easy for me to use AWS resources from Visual Studio. Next, let's take a look at our NuGet packages we're using for this solution. With AWS, all the resources and services consumed or configured are actually executed against an API. That's true whether you're using the web console, command line interface, PowerShell, or an SDK. And the great news for .NET developers is that AWS creates NuGet packages for all of these resources and services. So you can very simply add a NuGet reference and start interacting with these services. So our NuGet packages for this project are the AWS SDK.poly and the AWS SDK.translate packages. What this program actually does is it takes a English phrase and then it converts it using Amazon Translate to Polish, Spanish, German, and French. And then it says the phrases out loud using synthesized speech in a native voice. So if I take a look at the conversion code that's using Amazon Translate, you'll see I create a reference to the Amazon Translate client, giving it the region that I want to use. I create the translate text request, assign it the text, source language, and target language that I want, and then call the translate text method. Once I have the translated text, I can then feed it into a different method that is using the Amazon Poly client, again, associated to a region, create the request for the synthesizing of the speech, give it the language code, the translated text, how I want to receive that, in this case, an MP3, the voice that I want to use, and then call the synthesized speech method. So let's see how that all works by running the program. Witamy w Chicago, gdzie cieszymy się przez cztery pory roku, czasami tego samego dnia. Bienvenido a Chicago, donde disfrutamos de las cuatro estaciones, a veces en el early ignan de mismo día. Willkommen in Chicago, wo wir alle vier Jahreszeiten genießen, manchmal am selben Tag. Bienvenue a Chicago, où nous jouissons des quatre saisons, parfois dans la même journée. Moving on to Amazon Recognition. Amazon Recognition uses deep learning to add image or video analysis to your current application. It can identify objects, people, text, scenes, and activities, as well as detect any inappropriate content. It can be used for highly accurate facial analysis and facial recognition on images that you provide. So if we take a look at the NuGet packages for this demonstration application, You'll see that we're using the AWS SDK.core and AWS SDK.recognition NuGet packages. And what the sample application does is it detects faces in a picture and then draws a box around each face that was detected. Now the original picture, which you can see here, 
isn't very high resolution, and we wanted to use a realistic representation of an image that you might have. So if we walk through the code, what you'll see is the first thing I do is I create a Amazon recognition client specifying the region, and then I create a detect faces request. With that request, I'm reading in the image data that I have, and then I'm simply calling the detect faces method. When I get that result, it'll give me not only the number of faces, but also the details around where each face is positioned in the picture. And with this code, I'm going to put a bounding box around each face that it detected and draw a white rectangle around each face. And then I'm gonna display the image. So let's go ahead and see what that does. It's gonna print out all the different faces that it finds and then select them in the image. And you can see every single face that it found, it goes ahead and draws a box around. And it's really just that easy to start using AWS's deep learning based APIs with .NET code. I hope that you found this video interesting and that you've learned something. Thanks again for watching.